Hello, this is Chris Bennett. Join us weekly at POT TV on the Burning Shiva Hour as we explore the roots of cannabis culture throughout history and around the globe. On POTTV.net, home of the herd. This is Dana Larson of Cannabis Culture Magazine. If you like pot radio, you'll love cannabis culture. We're celebrating five years of bringing enlightenment and good pot to the world, so check us out and subscribe today. You can subscribe by giving us a call at 604-669-9069 or check us out online at www.cannabisculture.com. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Burning Shiva Hour. This is the final installment on our series on biblical hemp, cannabis and the Christ, Jesus used marijuana. You know, some people say that the millennia actually started on 2001, and if so, this is a perfect time to uh, celebrate the bimillennial birthday of the most popular individual in history, Jesus Christ. And I'm happy to be able to tell you on this day in the new millennium that that same Jesus that same pillar that General McAfee pays to, prays to and Bill Clinton prays to and every president of the United States has prayed to for salvation. That same Jesus, he used marijuana. And when we come back after a couple of short messages, we're going to tell the story of Jesus and marijuana in this, our final installment on the biblical series of hemp. <music> Every Tuesday for High Society with your host, David Malmo Levine, here on POT TV. Before we start, I'd just like to say that the following material is from an article I wrote for Cannabis Culture about five years ago and it's posted online. You can link to it at the link provided on our homepage with my uh, show and stuff just down on the right hand corner, bottom right hand corner. So if you want to check out this material, see where I got my references from and whatnot, link to that, you'll be able to print yourself up a copy of it, fully illustrated and fully referenced. And uh, as well, I'd also like to say I'm willing to debate anybody on this material. I feel so strongly that this is it, that what I'm talking about is an actual fact, not some fantasy, not even a religion, just a historical, documentable mystery that can be unveiled. And here we go with it. Cannabis and the Christ, Jesus used marijuana. If you know the truth, the truth will make you free. John 8.32 As doubtful as the following hypothesis might first seem to the viewer, I might as well boldly state my case right from the start. Either Jesus used marijuana or he was not the Christ. The very word Christ, by the implications of its linguistic origins and true meanings, gives us the most profound evidence that Jesus did in fact use the same herb as his ancient Semitic ancestors and which is still used today by people around the world for its enlightening and healing properties. The Greek title Christ is the translation of the Hebrew word Messiah, which in English becomes the anointed. This Messiah was recognized as such by his being anointed with the holy anointing oil, the use of which was restricted to the installation of Hebrew priests and kings. If Jesus was not initiated in this fashion, then he was not the Christ and had no official claim to the title. The ancient recipe for this anointing oil 
recorded in the Old Testament book of Exodus 30, 22 to 23, included over nine pounds of flowering cannabis tops, Hebrew cannabosum, extracted into a hind about 6.5 liters of olive oil, along with a variety of other herbs and spices. The agent chosen ones were literally drenched in this potent cannabis holy oil. From the time of Moses until that of the later prophet Samuel, the holy anointing oil was used by the shamanic Levite priesthood to receive the revelations of the Lord. At the dawn of the age of kings, Samuel extended the use of the anointing oil to the Hebraic monarchs by anointing Saul and later David as Messiah kings. These kings led their people with the benefits of insights achieved through the holy anointing oil to become possessed by the Spirit of the Lord. Quote, Anointing was common among the kings of Israel. It was a sign and symbol of royalty. The word Messiah signifies the anointed one, and none of the kings of Israel were styled the Messiah unless anointed. End quote. Chadwick. The title was clearly only given to those, quote, having the crown of God's unction upon them. End quote. Leviticus 21, 12. After the fall of the Jewish kingdoms and the bloody purges following the forged discovery of the Book of the Law discussed in our last episode, the cannabis holy oil was prohibited as its use became associated with pagan worship. Yet it seems that certain sects re retain the topical entheogen and continue to practice the much older religion, silently awaiting the return of a Messiah King in the line of David. The ministry of Jesus marked the return of the Jewish Messiah Kings and thus the reemergence of the Holy Oil, but in a wholly new way. Jesus violated the Old Testament taboo on the cannabis oil that limited its use to priests and kings and distributed it freely for initiation rites and to heal the sick and wounded. Although there is some evidence of Jesus' use of, of this Judaic cannabis oil in the traditional New Testament, we get a clearer picture of its importance when we also look at surviving Gnostic documents. The term Gnostic, meaning knowledge, refers to a variety of early Christian sects which had extremely different beliefs about both Jesus and his teachings than those which have come down to us through modern Christianity. Now, in this point, it should be noted that all, pretty well all modern Christianity is based upon the New Testament. And the New Testament itself is a Catholic document. It originates with the Catholic Church. It was put together in the fourth century at the Council of Nice. And uh, during that time, as we'll discuss after the commercial break, they eradicated not only pagan documents, but scores of early Christian documents that portrayed a Jesus very different than that which the Roman Catholic Church would have us know. So when we come back after these messages, we'll look at these rediscovered agent Christian documents. Hey everybody, Marijuana Man here. You can catch me on The Grow Show every Thursday comes on air at 4.20. We're smoking buds like these. 